Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to draw a person uh, lying down. And this is essentially seen from the front. So if the person was lying down on the floor flat on their on their uh, on their bellies. And looking at us, this would be the pose that would come into view. So let's get the pencil set. What we will do is Put down the head for starters right here. So the shoulder set right around, and of course, depending on what person we are basing our frame on, the width or the slenderness of the shoulders will come into view accordingly. Now, if you're looking straight at the person, uh, it's very easy. So what we'll do is we'll just do a slight tilt and we can Google images online. There's a lot, a lot of stuff out there. So that is the, we'll do it at this slight angle so that, you know, there's a little more dynamic feel to this and a bit of foreshortening. So there's the arm the elbow and the hand and the other arm stretched out so longer than this because it's that's this looks shorter because of this angle and then we have the elbow and the forearm we have the hand right here and this hand or well yeah this hand would be under this one and then of course we have to imagine that we are going backward and there's the person that there's the bottom of the torso pretty much. And of course as we keep moving the entire frame keeps coming and keeps expanding into view but we will stick with this one right here. So putting down some quick core framework is customary to have fists in this pose so fisted hands and they could be straight hands too when we can explore that in a second and see how that works but the delt structure the delt structure essentially working that way And then of course we go into the face, let's say that it's rested on the hands. Very customary to see this pose. We have the eyes, the nose and the mouth right here. The chest going like that into onto the torso. And then of course we have So a lot of foreshortening as I mentioned. So just that much of the thigh, knees, and it's very customary to see this. Now all people are not comfortable with this, but it's very, very customary to see this. Let's put this guy into the foreground and that guy into the background. It's very customary to see this pose. But what we can also do is, if we want to, there's something like particular going on, we could outstretch the hand like that. So the fingers stretched over this hand and this finger, the, this hand's fingers also stretched out. The position would probably change a bit and everything will just shift slightly upward and of course we can have the entirety of the leg showing but add that particular perspective again so foreshortened and probably the feet would be 
flat on the ground, somewhat like that. Hint of the other foot might show, other calf and foot, right around there, but again, that depends on the change in position. So there we have it, quick few options there. So please do try them out, very essential and very, very helpful. So uh, we put out content pretty much every day. So please do subscribe, keep in touch. Thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.